Surfside Beach Pier. Wait, that's a mural of the old pier. What's happening everybody? If you're new to this channel and you love Myrtle Beach and the surrounding Grand Strand area just as much as we do, then make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you won't miss a thing. Here is one of the last looks from a week or so ago of what is left, or what was left, of the Surfside Beach Pier. Making our way through the dunes, the new pier will be the fourth pier that has been erected at this location. The part you are seeing here has been completely removed and they have cleared out the remaining debris to make room for the new one which should be starting very soon. Now this footage from last weekend was on a hazy and wet afternoon. Yep, completely gone. And most of the demolition equipment has been removed as well. A couple of weeks ago, we stopped by to see how far they have gotten along. And Here's some footage from that weekend. And although many residents were more than ready for the battered pier to be replaced, some folks said that it was still an emotional event to watch the demolition of the remains of a piece of history that they had known for years. As you can see from the size of the equipment and containers here, it was a massive effort to remove the structure that had been an iconic symbol for many years. The original construction of the Surfside Beach Pier was built in 1953, when Surfside Beach looked much like this. Here is an aerial view of the pier from 1954, and ever since its original construction, people have been flocking to the Surfside Beach Pier and having fun in the sun. Here are some pictures from the older pier and some of the people who enjoyed it. If interested, these pictures and many others can be found in the Surfside Beach Oceanfront Hotel. Here's the pier with snow on it. This one appears to be a little more recent. Back to the present, there's the place where the restaurant and ramp used to stand. This pier has been rebuilt at least three times. The last time was March 1993 after the storm of the century demolished it. Here's a picture from the morning after Hurricane Hugo in 1989. So this new pier will be constructed out of concrete and it's going to be about 10 feet taller than the last one. 
Here are a couple more recent photos before Hurricane Matthew had its way with the pier. There's the hotel, which used to be the Surfside Beach Resort. Speaking of which, the Surfside Pavilion in the 1960s sat on the very site where the Surfside Oceanfront Hotel is today and where this picture now hangs. As I mentioned before, if you would like to see these and other original pictures of how Surfside Beach and the pier used to look, they can be found in the Surfside Beach Oceanfront Hotel on Ocean Boulevard. And according to the hotel staff, they are in the hallways on each floor. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. If you'd like to see more Myrtle Beach and Grand Strand videos like this one, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And as always, keep beaching.